What is going on everybody? Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to install the Sky Black Add-ons mod, which is literally the greatest mod ever made to humankind for the people who play Sky Black on Hypixel. Now, to actually use this mod, you need to do slash SBA, and this mod has many, many features. I'm not going to go over all of the features, I just want to kind of show you guys some of the stuff, like allow the locking slots, hide far entities in lobby, that kind of helps you with lag, avoid breaking stems, massively helps you with farming, there's some sort of GUI features in here, enchanting and reforges, dude. One of the cool features in here is that you can basically put this like anything that you have into an enchantment table and you can write here which specific enchant you wanted to get so like protection five and then you just keep spamming click and then when you actually get protection five or falling five then it'll actually completely stop on that enchantment and it will not allow you to pick up anymore so that you don't accidentally skip over the enchantment that's not all it does it does so many more things that i'm not even going to go over in this video if you guys want to know all the features i honestly recommend that you guys go watch biscuits video he hasn't really explained all the features in one video because he's still updating them every single time but there are so many features in here a lot of these are self-explanatory a lot of these are gui and there's just many different features so if you guys have any questions leave me a comment down below and i'll try to help you guys out and answer your guys questions but most of them you guys can pretty much figure out on your own all right so this is the technical version of how you install everything i'm going to be going over this as if you've never installed a mod before so a lot of this is probably for people who've never played minecraft never installed a mod before or even little kids it's going to be easy for everybody and you guys can learn it no matter what so basically what you're going to do is open up a brand new folder and then let's just say you know let's just go back to here right this is my main folder so let's just say open up a documents folder and then you're going to type in the little search bar right up here right you see that and then you're going to type in percent app data and then the percent key again that's the money key that's the pound key there we go percent app data percent and then click enter now once you do that you'll see a little folder that says dot minecraft go into here and then you guys are basically exactly where you need to go this is where you're going to be able to access your mod folder and you guys are going to need this for later now go down below in the description of this video and it's going to link you to this website called minecraft forge now what minecraft forge is is basically a mod loader for minecraft and this is the thing that you're going to need to install for pretty much every single mod to work now specifically for skyblock add-ons it only runs on version 1.8.9 now i don't recommend you download the latest i recommend that you download the recommended one and we're going to use the window installer so you're going to click this button right here you're going to click save you can save in your downloads folder your desktop wherever and then just run it now once it's running click install for client or it should already be selected and then just click ok and then it'll down the libraries and it'll say successfully installed client profile manager forge for version forge 1.8.9 that's all you really need to know now go ahead and click minecraft open it up and then you should see your minecraft launcher now go to installations and make sure you see the forge one right here 1.8.9 and then click play basically what this doing is running the game with the mod loader so that it's completely enabled and then it'll kind of get everything started up for you do not install the mod yet if you install the mod before running the actual mod loader you'll face some issues and it will not work so right here it's just going to kind of initialize the stuff and you know do all the technical stuff that i have no clue about and then if you look at mods it says you have three mods this is all just kind of comes with the forge mod loader and that's just basically what it is now go ahead and close minecraft now you have the forge so you can kind of just exit off this screen and then if you look in your dot minecraft folder where we were just at where i just told you to go you actually see a mods folder now Now that's great that's awesome that's exactly what we need the next thing that you guys are going to do is go back down below in the description and in the description it's going to be linked to this website named biscuit.codes I have no idea why Biscuit, I believe that's actually the mod author. I don't know why he posted this on biscuit.codes. He should really just make skyblockaddons.com or something. But basically, I'm going to link you to the website, which is this right here, biscuit.codes, and it's going to be Skyblock Add-ons Download, and then it should automatically start to download. If it doesn't automatically start, just click Download Not Working, and then boom, there you go. It'll start working. Now, this version might be different. This right here is the mod version, and it's for Minecraft 1.8.9. Maybe in the future, it's not going to be forced on the 1.8.9. It probably will be for a long time, though, but this is Skyblock Add-ons 1.3.0. Now, it might go up to one 4.0 an update literally came out yesterday for this so you guys might have a newer version this might be an older version it really doesn't matter now save this to whatever folder you're really going to remember this on and i'm just going to save it to the downloads folder now if you're using chrome you can literally right click it and click show in folder and now i have this right here so all i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my minecraft folder again right so mods right here this is our mods folder and then i'm going to make sure that i open up my downloads folder and then i'm going to drag and drop the mod directly into the mods folder 
Now, go ahead and open up your Minecraft client again. Go to installations and click on unnamed installation. We can, I think we can rename this, right? We can rename this to, uh, no, I guess we, I guess we can't rename this at all. No? Okay, so we can't rename this. It was called Forge, I thought, but now it's called unnamed installation. And now, when we launch Minecraft, it should run perfectly fine without any crashes and it should just start up completely fine. Okay, so there we go. And now it says that we have four mods installed and this right here is skyblock add-on so there you go then you can join high pixel and then once you get in high pixel it should be completely fine and you should be able to use skyblock add-ons all right so we load it in and now we go click on skyblock and then you type in slash s b a and then boom, there you go. You got Skyblock add-ons completely installed. Very easy, very simple. Now, that's over. If that's all you guys really needed, there you go. I'm also going to show you guys how to install Optifine as well. It's literally the same thing. You guys go down below in the description and I will link you to the exact download that you're going to need for this. Basically, you're just going to need 1.8.9. Uh, I'll probably link you to the Optifine.net slash download section. You can download whichever version you want, but make sure it says 1.8.9. Now, if you want HD old I don't really know what the numbers mean honestly but then just click download and then it'll take you to this thing and then you click skip add or whatever and then pretty much you have it downloaded now I actually copied all of the mods I had previously and then let's just say you just downloaded it. oh my gosh you have Optifine you saved in your downloads folder literally just like skyblock add-ons you just drag and drop it start up Minecraft and that's literally all you have to do now if you have any other mods like I also installed too many items mod to show me the recipes or just enough items mod I installed this mod as well to show me the item recipes for crafting stuff then that's all you have to do just drag and drop the mod restart your client and then once you start it up make sure you go to installations it's just gonna take a second now you can look at the bottom left hand corner right next to play and it just look for unnamed installation 1.8.9 it should be automatically selected at least for the last one that you picked and then click play. Now, as our launcher is launching up, it should work perfectly fine. If you're facing any crashing or any issues, one thing that I recommend looking at is to make sure that the mod version are all the same. So if you guys want to do some testing, like let's just say that this is the brand new mod that I just added. And for some reason, I'm having crashing issues. Well, all that I would recommend is you move it to a different folder. So we would just drag and drop that to a different folder and then just try to launch the game with these two mods. Now, if these are both working, then maybe this version, like maybe this actually says one. 1.7.9 then if it says 1.7.9 then you couldn't be like oh okay that's the wrong version let me look up the mod again and try to install the correct version but we literally have every single thing that we need we also should have optifine which yes uh yes we do have optifine i don't know why it doesn't appear in the mod section a little bit weird but as you guys can see at the bottom left corner optifine 1.8.9 hdu 17 so boom there we go that's exactly how you can install sky Skyblock add-ons and Optifine and any other mod that you guys really want from Minecraft. If this video did help you guys out, make sure that you guys smash the like button. If you guys are new around here, hit the subscribe button. I post Skyblock content. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you guys out as much as I can. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.